months of digging by the Call 7 investigators, and tonight we have the results of a first-of-its-kind statewide audit showing most counties aren't doing proper background checks before placing foster kids with new families. It was our investigation prompting the audit after John Frugia found Denver placed children with a convicted sex offender. John? That's right, Ann. Time after time, the auditors found proper fingerprint or background checks had not been completed when kids were placed with kin. And several times, they had to stop work, call counties, and make sure kids were safe. The audit looked at where children were placed with kin across the state to find out if those in the home had a CBI criminal history check, an FBI check, a fingerprint check, and a check of the child welfare database called TRAILS. All these required by law. This is the first time that we've ever done a review of this nature. And what Julie Crow and her auditors found was stunning. In county after county, random samples showed that proper checks were not completed and data was missing. For example, in Denver County, the state examined 43 homes that had children. For the four requirements examined for each home, the total number of checks that should have been in the files was 172. The auditors found only 53% of those required checks were completed. When we would review a file um, and find that certain things were missing, the first thing that we did was contact the county to make sure that the child was safe. In some rural counties like Delta, Rio Grande and Archuleta, only 25% or less were done. This is not a very good report card statewide. It, it's not where I would like it to be. In contrast, Weld County had an 87% completion rate, Boulder County 92%, and Broomfield County a perfect 100%. Crow points out that while she's concerned, this audit is just a snapshot of time, but an indicator of problems the state didn't recognize and must now address to keep children safe. It was um, Channel 7 News that brought this to our attention. We were grateful to you to, to bringing it to us, and we knew we needed to, to take certain steps. Um, and, and we've done that. So we're working as hard as we can to improve these numbers. Now Crow says making needed changes is going to take money. The statewide computing reporting system is from the 1980s and it's simply overloaded and must be replaced so auditors can get real-time information. Many counties are short caseworkers and of course they're the people that have to enter all that data in each case. And counties need training and assistance to ensure they're complying with the law. Now that process has begun but it's going to take legislative action to move forward. I'm Call 7 Investigator John Ferrugia.